Today we are going to create a design in Canva using a simple line chart, combined with other design elements to make an impactful presentation. The line chart will show the number of visitors to a nature park in the last six months. The park opened a new attraction, a bird aviary, in August, resulting in a large increase in the number of visitors. I will put this data in the description for the video in case you want to build the design along with me. Starting in Canva, I will use the presentation format. And then from the very left hand panel, click on Elements and scroll down to Charts. And select the very first line chart. Clear the data and paste in our data. The chart now reflects the new information. Under settings, I am going to leave the labels and the grid lines. I will change the marker size and the font size to 32. The font type is Canva Sans. Move the chart to the lower right hand side of the canvas. Now I'm going to add an image. Under elements, I scroll down to find a frame to hold the image, which in Canva is called a grid if you want a square frame. I'd like to find a photograph and I search for a bird aviary. I ended up not finding a photo that I liked, but under photos I did find an illustration, which I will drag into the frame or grid until it snaps into place. And then add my text. I'm going to use the font Solway and size 48 and then type in the heading. Aviary sparks increase in park visitors. I also want a subheading, so I will copy this and paste a new text box so that I can type in that the aviary opened August 4th. And for the subheading, I'm going to Choose a smaller font size, 32, and make it bold. The design has three different areas, and I want to distinguish those further. So I'm going to add a rectangle around the text at the top. And for the rectangle color, I will choose a color from the photo using the color chooser, and then make it transparent, play around 30% transparency. Then I can copy and paste this rectangle so that it provides a background for the chart. So now I have my three areas, one rectangle around the text, one rectangle for the chart, and then the photo or illustration is the third rectangle. I am going to change the font color. Canva provides the colors from the photo, so I will try this kind of a rust colored. And I'll also change the text color of the font. So the axes labels will be the same rust color. And for the line chart itself, I'll choose the olive green, also from the photo, but lighten it up a bit. 70% transparency. I'd like to draw attention to the month the aviary opened by emphasizing that data point on the chart. So under elements and shapes, I drag a circle to the design. And I will give it a border weight of five 
and change the border color to match the chart, so the olive green. And then the inside of the circle, I will choose no color. When I drag the circle around the data point, it tends to try to snap into place to other sections of the chart. So I find that if I zoom in and then hold down the control key while I move the image or the shape, it gives me much greater control and it does not try to, stop, to snap to grid. Our final design is cheerful, reflecting the uplifting message of the increase in visitors. But what if we had a different story to tell? Suppose the park always had an aviary and it closed in August. Now we have a different set of numbers. The aviary closing in August resulted in a decrease in the number of visitors. Let's see what this data looks like in our line chart. Back in Canva, I will make a copy of this page, select the chart, and paste in the revised data. Move our circle to the new August data point and change the title. A cheerful style no longer seems appropriate, so I will edit the image, scroll down to filters, choose grayscale, and set the transparency to around 50%. I will also change the colors of the background and the text. Our design now has a more somber note, especially when compared to the first version. In both designs, you can see how the text, image, and line chart work together to tell our story in an impactful way. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have ideas for videos about working with data that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.